My name is Eden Schroeder and this is my story. I'm a C5 quadriplegic and it's a complete injury. So I am paralyzed from about here down. My triceps are paralyzed and my hands are also paralyzed. So I got injured by diving off a boat when I was on break from college and I broke my neck on a sandbar because the water was too shallow. In the beginning of my recovery, I felt very unstable and unsure of the future. I was looking like right in the moment of what I was doing right now in the hospital and an inpatient and like I was really looking long term. And now that I have a good support system, I'm very stable and like I'm looking more things that I enjoy to do like being active, biking, swimming, um, finishing school. Shepherd Center has been amazing. That's where I met Heather um, when she was my physical therapist. I had two weeks in the ICU where I couldn't move my arms or anything. Then once I re regained that function, I had three months of inpatient rehab, which was relearning how to do personal care, like brush your teeth, brush your hair, that kind of thing. I had three months of day program where I met Heather, which is more of learning how to do transfers, go out in public and live your life again. My name is Heather Jones. Um, I'm a physical therapist. When I first met Eden, she had a hard time just holding herself up on the edge of the mat. And to watch her progression and where she was when I met her almost three years ago, to where she is now has been amazing to watch her grow and become more independent and become more confident in herself. I always say that my patients teach me more than I teach them. My Eden's story kind of speaks for itself. Um, she has hands down changed my life, changed the way I think about things, changed the way I do PT. Concept has kind of always been there's the therapy way of doing things and there's the reality way of doing things. And I think what Eden and I get to do is merge those two concepts together because Therapy is great, but physical therapy is not life. You gotta go out, you gotta go live your life, you gotta go do real world stuff. And so I was told Eden that she makes me a better PT because we get to go do these things in real world. We get to figure out how to get on and off a bike, how to ski down a mountain, how to go swimming again, how to go camping. We just do fun things. And so we don't let her injury stop her. We just go out and do the reality things that I always tell people to go do. When I first met Heather, um, it, she just, kind of showed me what was possible after injury and how you can still live a very full life and how there's nothing really holding you back. Sports has just given Eden a newfound hope. I think it's given her something to work for. She was an athlete prior to her injury and now she gets to continue to be that athlete. She's This bike is going to be a game changer for her, letting her get out, be independent, work on her cardio, work on her strength, which is just going to carry over and make her that much more independent in her daily, daily life. And also from a sports standpoint, like. We love going camping, and so this bike in itself is going to give her so much independence when we're out in the woods getting around and she can go mountain biking with us, and it's just going to be absolutely amazing. I'm super stoked. I loved like the process of getting fitted for everything because it kind of like was tailored to me, so I knew it was going to be very customized. And then also just like winning it in general was like such an exciting moment. Like I remember like sitting in the house and I was like, hey, look what I got. And it was, I don't know. It was really cool. And then obviously seeing the bike now and just trying it out. Awesome. The very first thing that I noticed on the bike was the quad grips, which I absolutely love. One of the biggest downfalls on the bike she's tried in the past is you're literally locked into the handlebars and the grip that this bike has is amazing. It allows her to independently put her hands in, take them out. She's not locked down to the bike. That's going to be an absolutely amazing feature. Okay, that is the thing I'm the most excited about because it I'm not as scared when it has a quad set up because one, I can take my hands out when I need to, and two, the brake to be able to stop is like a game changer, so I'm not reliant on someone else stopping me. And then also the chin assist, the chin power assist and the ability to just use her chin to go forward without having to pedal if she needs it for an emergency, from a safety standpoint, just if she's just tired and wants to keep moving, like that's a really awesome feature. I'm excited to like get out there and like see what the bike can do and see what I can do on the bike. So I'm excited to try some trails, like maybe some jumps in there, maybe some twists and turns. I was looking for a different type of identity and not just a disabled person or someone with a spinal cord injury, but instead like an athlete. And the community I've met has just been amazing. So I love swimming. I also work out a lot with different bands and weights, but swim has really been a nice activity for me to like get back out into the world. My first swim meet, my first or I think it was actually my third event, I broke the American record for S1 classifications. And it was literally my first meet ever. And it was at the Paralympic Training Facility, which was the coolest thing ever. So it was just a big moment. And Heather and Austin were so proud of me too, so that was cool. When I met Eden almost three years ago, she was my patient. Um, and we just worked together strictly PT patient relationship. And after she discharged several months later, we kind of kept in contact. And it started out her just coming over on the weekends. We just hung out. We'd kind of said, hey, let's keep doing fun things, work on your transfers, where you can get a little bit more independent. And then the weekends kind of turned into long weekends, and the long weekends kind of turned into full weeks. And then it just kind of worked out. You know, we decided she was just going to move in, and we were going to keep 
continuing to work on her independence with the ultimate goal of her being able to do as much as possible and live on her own. But in the meantime, we're just having fun, doing life, doing crazy things. Well, for my routine, day to day, is a little bit different than most 21 year olds, but um, I get up in the morning, Heather kind of helps me get situated. Um, we drink coffee together, and then I brush my hair, wash my face, brush my teeth, um, make another coffee because I love caffeine. <laughs> And then I end up doing this workout we put together with my bands and my weights, so I get set up for that. And after that, I usually make my breakfast, then I um, do my schoolwork for the day, wait for Heather to get home from work, and then we go in the standing frame for a little bit while she works out, and then afterwards we make dinner together, and then watch a show, and then go to bed. When it comes to riding and having a hand cycle, I just like, I'm excited for the independence it's gonna bring too, but it's also like the freedom. You know, as fast as I want, I'm like an adrenaline junkie, so like I love doing that kind of thing. And then I can keep up with my able-bodied people that I hang out with. I know. Um, but it was hand cycling and swimming for me are kind of like, they go hand in hand because swimming is like, you have so much freedom in the water. Um, there's nothing holding you back and hand cycling is kind of the same way because even with the power assist, like I'm able to do everything that people around me are doing so there's nothing really holding me back. And with that setup too, because it's so perfect for me, it's like, I can do everything by myself. Like I don't have to ask anyone to like fix me or help me, so I'm excited. I'm sick. I'm so pumped. I think I really do appreciate my life more being paralyzed just because you appreciate the people around you more, you appreciate the things you can do more. It's just like you have a different perspective on like the world. I think that there's so much more that disabled people can do that people don't realize, which is why I try to show on social media the stuff that we can do rather than the stuff that people think that we can't. So it's just kind of like breaking the stigma of we're not just sitting in our houses doing nothing, we're going out and doing things every day and we can just rest.